Hi Pine Class, it's Monday morning and it's time for Maths. Uh, this week we're going to be continuing with exploring perimeter and you're going to start the week with another really practical lesson because you are going to be using some objects that you can find around your house and you're going to predict what you think their perimeters are going to be and then you're actually going to measure it and see how close your prediction got. So I've chosen three objects that I'm going to measure um, and I've chosen uh, my iPad, um, I've chosen the Roald Dahl book, Danny the Champion of the World that we're reading and I've chosen a coaster on which to put drinks. Now I am going to measure perimeter using centimetres because I've got a ruler at home and if you do have a ruler at home can I suggest that you also measure in centimetres using a ruler. If you haven't got a ruler, then whatever you choose to use instead, you must use that for all of the objects that you do measure. So if you're going to use pencils, make sure you use pencils for all of them. If you're going to use um, matchsticks, make sure you use matchsticks for all of them. If, for example, you wanted to measure the perimeter of really big things, like the whole perimeter of one of the rooms in your house, you might want to use things like your footsteps. So how many footsteps is the perimeter of your kitchen, for example? So what you can see on the table in front of you are um, four objects. I've got my ruler, I've got my iPad, I've got my book, and I've got a coaster. These are the things that I'm going to be using to measure with and to decide what I think their perimeter is. So, if we look first of all at my iPad, um, I've already on the table had a prediction, a guess, as to what I think the perimeter is going to be. So I predicted I think it's going to be 120 centimetres all the way around the edge of my iPad. But now I'm actually going to measure and I'm going to use my ruler to help me. So, if I measure this long edge, and I'm making sure I line things up with zero, I've got 23 centimetres long, that side. That also means that this side will also be 23 centimetres. And the shorter sides, I've got 18, and that also means that this side will also be 18. So I'm going to have to add those all together to show the perimeter of my iPad. So you might want to use column addition for this. I can do this one in my head. I know that 23 plus 23 plus 18 plus another 18 is 82 centimetres. So the perimeter of my iPad is 82 centimetres. Okay, um, next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to move that one out of the way, is my Roald Dahl book. So I'm going to measure the perimeter of this as well. So, getting my ruler out again, I'm going to measure the long edge. Oh, first of all, I predicted that the perimeter is going to be 100 centimetres. I went a bit too far on my prediction here, so I wonder if I've maybe over-predicted there as well. Let's see. So the long side, I've got 20 centimetres. That means this side as well will also be 20. And the short side, I've got 13 centimetres, which means that this side here will also be 13 centimetres. Again, if you want to use your column addition skills to add all those up, that's fine. Um, I can add those up in my head. I know that that is going to make 66. There we go. 20 plus 20 is 40. 13 plus 13 is 26. 40 plus 26 gives me 66. So you can see my prediction, I predicted far too high, really. Um, same with my other one. Let's move that one out of the way. The final object from my home that I'm going to measure is a coaster. So this is just to put drinks on. Um, I predicted it's going to be 50 centimetres. Let's see how accurate I'm going to be. So this coaster is a square. So I know that 
every side will be the same length. So that is exactly 10 centimetres long. Because it's a square, I know that every single side will be 10 centimetres in length. If I add those up, definitely don't need to do column addition for this, 10, 20, 30, 40. So the perimeter of my coaster is 40. Oh, I need to add my centimetres onto here, just to be clear. So my prediction wasn't too bad, I wasn't too far out. So you're going to have a go at this yourself. There will be a template worksheet that looks like this, where you can put your results into. Um, I want to see you measure at least the perimeter of five objects from your home, whether with a ruler or through non-standard measurements. Good luck, and I'm looking forward to seeing your work.